Hello students, I hope you all are fine and healthy. We are reading chapter number 11, Transportation in Plants and Animals. Today we will learn about heartbeat and pulse rate. When the heart contracts, it becomes smaller in size and it pushes the blood into the main artery that is known as aorta and then the heart relaxes and it comes back to its original size and it gets filled up with the blood from the pulmonary vein. So when the heart contracts, it becomes smaller in size and it pushes out the blood into the main artery that is known as aorta. And when it again relaxes or comes back to its original size, then it gets filled up with the blood from the pulmonary vein. In this way, the heart keeps on contracting and relaxing again and again to pump the blood continuously in our whole body. And the one complete contraction and relaxation of the heart, it is known as heartbeat. Heartbeat means one complete contraction and relaxation of the heart. The average heartbeat of an adult person while resting is approximately 72 to 80 times per minute. This means that the heart pumps the blood into the main artery approximately 72 to 80 times in a minute. We can feel our heartbeat if we will keep our hand on the left side of our chest, then we can feel the contraction and relaxation of the heart. The number of heartbeat increases too much during and after a physical exercise. Suppose if we will count our heartbeat after running or doing a physical exercise, then we may find that our heartbeat is more than 100 times per minute. The faster beating of heart pumps blood more rapidly into the body organs which supplies more oxygen to the body cells. For the rapid respiration or we can say fast respiration so that more energy can be produced. Because in our body, the energy is produced by the process of respiration and for that we need oxygen. That's why our heart beats faster. So that more blood will reach to the body cells and when the more blood will reach to the body cells, it will carry more oxygen with it. You might have seen a doctor listening to our heartbeat by using an instrument that is called stethoscope. So stethoscope is an instrument that is used to listen our heartbeats. The stethoscope makes the sound of the heartbeat louder or we can say that it increases the volume of the heartbeats so that the doctor can hear the heartbeat clearly. A stethoscope is having three parts. Those three parts of a stethoscope are first is a chest piece, two ear pieces and the third is a rubber tube. So these are the three parts of the stethoscope. The chest piece is having a sensitive diaphragm at its bottom. The diaphragm increases or we can say it amplifies the volume of the heartbeats so that the doctor can easily hear it. The two ear pieces, they are made up of metal tubes and the doctors put these ear pieces in his ears. The rubber tube joins the chest piece to the ear piece. So the work of rubber tube is to join the chest piece from the ear piece. Doctors can know the condition of our heart 
by listening to our heart beats with the help of the stethoscope we can prepare a model of the stethoscope at our home so for preparing the model of the stethoscope we need a small size funnel that is having a diameter of approximately 6 to 7 cm we also need a rubber pipe that is approximately 50 cm long and the last thing we need is a balloon or a rubber sheet so first of all we will fix the rubber pipe into the stem of the funnel stem means the narrow end of the funnel so we will fix the rubber pipe tightly into the stem of the funnel now we will stretch a rubber sheet or balloon and we will fix it tightly on the mouth of the funnel with the help of an adhesive tape or rubber band but the uh, balloon or the rubber sheet should remain tight now our stethoscope is ready and we will put the open end of the rubber tube in one of our ear and we will place the mouth of the funnel on our chest just above the heart when we will keep the mouth of the funnel on our chest just above the heart we will hear the regular thumping sounds like dhak 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 these sounds are called the thumping sounds these sounds are the heart beats every time our heart beats it pushes the blood into the arteries this blood makes throbbing movement in the arteries throbbing means vibrating or beats so when the blood goes into the arteries it produces vibrations or beats in the arteries this throbbing movement of the arteries this throbbing movement of the arteries it is known as pulse and the number of beats per minute in the arteries it is known as pulse rate each heartbeat produces one pulse in the arteries of the person so the pulse rate of a person is equal to the heartbeats of the person per minute so the heartbeat and the pulse rate they both are equal most of our arteries they lie deep under the skin so they cannot be used to feel our pulse but at some places in our body like our wrist our temples and our neck the arteries lie close to the skin so they can be used to feel our pulse now you have to measure the pulse rate and heartbeat of your own and your friends you have to record it in the table 11.2 given in your book sponges and hydra they are simple animals which live in water sponges lives in sea water whereas hydra mostly lives in fresh water sponges and hydra they do not have blood blood vessels or heart so we can say that the sponges and hydra they do not have any circulatory system in sponges and hydra the water in which they live it brings food and oxygen as the water moves inside their body or it enters their body the water also carries away carbon dioxide and other waste material as it moves out from their body so the animals like hydra and sponges they do not need any circulatory fluid like blood we need blood for the transportation in our body but they do not need any circulatory fluid 
सो द एनिमल्स लाइक स्पॉन्जेस एंड हाइड्रा दे डू नॉट नीड एनी सर्कुलेटरी लिक्विड लाइक ब्लड इट इज द वॉटर इन विच द स्पॉन्जेस एंड द हाइड्रा लीव्स विच हेल्प इन मूविंग द वेरियस मटीरियल्स इन देयर बॉडी नाउ वी विल लर्न अबाउट एक्सक्रीशन इन एनिमल्स वी ईट फूड ड्रिंक वॉटर एंड ब्रीद इन एयर वेन अवर बॉडी यूजेस फूड वॉटर एंड एयर इट प्रोड्यूसेस सम अनवॉन्टेड सब्सटेंसेस दैट आर नोन एज वेस्ट मटीरियल्स और वेस्ट दीज वेस्ट मटीरियल्स आर टॉक्सिक और वी कैन से दे आर पॉइजनस सो दे आर हार्मफुल फॉर अवर बॉडी सो दीज वेस्ट मटीरियल्स शुड बी रिमूव फ्रॉम अवर बॉडी सो दैट द पर्सन रिमेन्स हेल्दी द रिमूवल ऑफ द वेस्ट मटीरियल्स प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द सेल्स ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स is called excretion excretion means removal of waste material that is produced in the cells of living organisms the human being has various body organs for the removal of the waste that is produced in our body we have already read in the previous chapters that the carbon dioxide that is produced in our body cells during the process of respiration it is removed from the body during the process of exhalation by the lungs the major waste product of our body is urea this urea goes into our blood and makes it dirty and this urea is a poisonous substance so it must be removed from our body if the urea and the other waste materials are not removed regularly from the body then the person will soon die the organs that help in the excretion of the waste material they forms excretory system so now we will learn about the excretory system in humans the urea and other waste material or we can say the other unwanted salts dissolve in water in the body to form a yellowish liquid waste that is known as urine so urine is the yellowish liquid waste which is made up of urea and other unwanted salts dissolved in the water the excretory system it collects the liquid waste like urine and helps in the removal of them from the body the excretory system of humans consists of two kidneys two ureters a bladder and a urethra the kidneys are reddish bean shaped organ the function of the kidney is to filter the blood to remove urea each kidney contains thousands of tiny filters that are known as nephrons when the blood containing urea and other waste material passes through the nephrons in the kidney so the nephrons filter the blood and removes the urea and waste from the blood the liquid that is left in the kidneys after the filtration of blood it is urine and it contains urea waste materials and excess of water the urine that is formed in the kidneys it goes into the bladder with the help of the tubes that are called ureters urine is stored in the bladder which is a kind of a bag and this bladder is sometimes also known as urinary bladder the urine that is collected in the bladder it is passed out from the body at regular intervals through the opening at the end of a tube 
that is called urethra so from the kidneys the urine enters the bladder with the tubes called ureters and from the bladder the urine is removed continuously after intervals with the help of an opening of a tube that is called urethra urine consists of 2.5% urea 2.5% other waste and 95% water an adult human being normally passes out 1 to 1.8 liters urine every day the normal functioning of the kidney is necessary for good health sometimes a person's kidney may stop working due to an infection or some injury when the kidneys do not work properly so they are not able to remove the waste materials such as urea from the blood completely the complete failure of kidney leads to the accumulation accumulation means collection of too much urea in the blood of a person a person that is suffering from the kidney failure cannot survive unless his blood is filtered with the help of artificial kidney machines regularly and his blood is filtered to remove urea and the other waste and this process of removing of waste from the blood by using artificial kidney machine is known as dialysis the best solution for long term is kidney transplant so if a person is having kidney failure so the best solution will be kidney transplant if the person cannot have a kidney transplant so he has to go for the dialysis again and again in kidney transplant the damaged kidney is removed from the body and a kidney donated by the healthy person is transplanted in the place of damaged kidney so that's it students we will continue the chapter in our next video thanks for watching bye bye take care